Hello, Damon Lynette here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, today is a lock update. It's a real quick lock update just because I haven't been on here in a while and I've been wanting to do a seven month lock update. And that the seven month mark was July 3rd and today is July 16th. So we're getting closer to the eight month update, but um, I don't have like a super substantive video, but I just wanted you guys to know, uh, disregard <laughs> a lot of what I said in my six month update. And here's what I mean. Like I was all talking about how I'm free and I only braid and band the front and the back doesn't unravel and I'm mostly trying to wear it in my shrunken state so it can be thicker and throw all that out. I listen, now that I'm back to work in the office, see COVID had everybody working at home, being at home, you know, employed, unemployed, whatever, and everybody wants to start some locks. And then when it's time to go back in the office, <laughs> You know, you're like, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was real free at the house. So what I mean is, like, I really was not following some of the basic rules um, for starter locks, for micro locks, uh, that I should have. And my locks were entering into what looked like somewhat of an ugly stage and I'll say ugly stage I know that's that's controversial um that phrase the ugly phase but what I mean is they were really starting to have this unkempt look that I was having a challenge controlling and I didn't like that um my ends so where I had when I started my two strand twist I braided the tips twisted the body of it and then the the ends I braid it and then left some loose hair. Well, that loose hair, I guess the braid slowly became undone and it was just like a lot of loose hair. And so, you know, the, the part that, you, you know, you, when you want your hair locked, you're not moisturizing and doing the lock method and all that that you would if you just were a loose natural. And so with all that loose natural hair hanging out the bottom and I wasn't like moisturizing it regularly and all that, I just had this, crazy extra frizzy look going on and I I was looking at other people's videos and I was just like what is different like what what am I doing differently than what some of these other people are doing because you know their locks will look nice and I would just be like I'm just losing length losing length losing length and so here's what I realized number one the um loose hair that I had at the ends I need to go ahead and braid it up. So I haven't gone through my whole head. I got these two puffs in here, but some, cause I was touching up the front. So some I went on and where that loose hair, I mean, your hair will lock like that. Like it was, it was not moving, but like it was starting to lock, but it was just this real, just this frizzy couple of inches. And so I just decided to pull, you know, go on and pull three strands out of that and just braid to the, to the tip. And stop trying to have these like loose curly ends and all that because it's loose hair. And if it's loose hair, you got to do everything that you would do for loose natural hair. And I'm not about that life. I got locks for a reason. So I'm going to let that go. So, so I will over the next few retines or whatever, um, kind of, you know, I only have 240 some locks. So I'm going through and locks that have like a loose, loose end. None of these that are hanging out are like that. But I will just braid it to the tip. I know it's going to swell and it's going to be all right. So there's that. Um, what else is going on? I think once I do that, I will have less shrinkage and realize more length because I don't have all this loose natural hair at the end shrinking up, if that makes sense. What else? Um, so I said I'm back in the office and do, does having locks save me time? Yes, it saves me time, but it doesn't necessarily get me where I'm going on time because being on time has nothing to do with my hair it has everything to do with my time management skills preach girl preach i need to take up an offering it's my time management skills. it's the time management skills for me um so i was 
late a lot before I locked my hair. And yes, I had to spend a lot of time on my hair. But I'm still late a lot and I don't have to spend much time at all on my hair. So what is the common denominator? What is the common factor in the scenarios there? It's me. <laughs> so I'm getting my life together and yeah, so so yeah, lock, having locks can save you time. But if you know, you're just a procrastinator or you got time management issues, then you know, locking your hair ain't gonna fix that girl. You gotta fix that girl. Uh, what else is going on? I'm so excited about the journey. I'm, I think I'm realizing that I need to do uh, my retires more often. I think I was stretching out to like the six week mark. Maybe I think I need to do them at four weeks. Still doing a three point rotation, although um, some areas I do a two point just like over here on my right side where my hair is thinner from trickle to the mania where I used to pull my hair out and it's just I got some some balding looking situations going on over there um those locks are thinner and so I don't do a, a three point I do a two point because a two point rotation will allow a fatter lock um and I feel like if I were to do a three or four and get it too tight you know I don't want them breaking off I haven't lost any locks although I was trying to undo a lock so that I could redo it because it had this really fat knot in it I don't know if it was a buddy I think it was budding plus where I was like not braiding and banding I was not tying my hair down when I sleep I was hardly braiding my hair I was just sleep I was going to sleep you know I might throw my hair in ponytail some of it be hanging out I was just I was just sleeping just all of it loose I would just go to bed and don't do that like don't be free and wild like me not when you have starter box not in your first year like don't do it don't get don't put the cart before the horse wait until a little bit of maturity and settling happens before you be doing all that. So I am back to braiding and bedding, banding my whole head while washing. And um, I'm back to braiding my hair. That's what gets me um, on work days when I got to go into the office three days a week. Braiding my hair at night just makes the morning go easier. Um, so there's that. I feel like I'm starting to ramble. So I'm going to cut this very brief update i just wanted to come on here and let y'all know how i'm doing i'm not gonna take my hair down in the well let me go ahead let me go ahead for y'all let me just go ahead for y'all i could put it back up it's time for me to go to bed i'm going to sleep with my hair in puffs tonight but i will not anymore be sleeping with my hair just like loose i would like just go to bed like this like, who does that? Yeah, I'm seven months, but these are still starter locks. Hello. I'm learning, y'all. I'm learning. Um, but, yeah, it's 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 all good up in here. We're good. The back, I haven't retied. I just worked on the front a little bit. So, still rocking my, you know, to the side action. My roller sets, my Bantu knots, half ups, half down, yellow, basket weaving it, braid outs with lock knots on the end. So, thank you for watching. I will be back with more lock updates. I got some other types of videos that I think are going to be interesting, so you stay tuned. I am now doing keto. And I'm in my second week of keto and intermittent fasting and I'm kicking in the exercising and I've been losing inches and pounds and I want to share that with you guys too. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the rebound. We serve God around these parts uh, Alpha and Omega, he be finished before we start uh, The great I am, the one who let us know who we are uh, Christ the cardiologist created me a clean heart uh,